So we have three. Can, can someone explain to me what happened? I don't know. No. Yes, you do. Get out. Three cataclysmic events that are occurring. The, the story of diseased chicken. Solar eclipse! It's gonna happen! It's gonna happen! Here, come on, come on, come on! And that liquid went on the books. Is that really blood? Yeah, it's really blood. This is not good. It's happening at 10:20. Avian. Wait. Need your help. We're gonna build us some nice uh, fun crafts for the solar eclipse. Let's go. I need more paper than that. Okay. Bunch of paper. Hey, what do you think is the solar eclipse? Mm, solar eclipse is going to cover the side. That's cool. Piece of aluminum foil over the hole. Why do we need such a plastic? So why can't we see it? Because it's the sun. You can't look at the sun. You look at the real sun for No, but you're staring at it. You can't stare at it. The sun behind you. Actually, when it's not a full eclipse, you can't see that. Yeah, because on a full eclipse, it's uh, it's more powerful. Look at this. Tiny, itty, bitty, little. Minor emergencies, minor traumas. Okay, so this is not, this is not good. This is not good. <laughs> so we have three three cataclysmic events that are occurring <laughs> three cataclysmic events okay well right now it's 10.04 and it's almost like it's coming very close Carmen, can you make Actually, you can see it. <clears throat> I know you can see it if you just like move but yeah. do we have these things are they ready what? yeah this I don't know how many there are but what it's happening Take that out front. I need the clip to Watch paper, watch paper. <clears throat> you don't. Like, you, would be, you need the papers for the ground, guys. Oh, I feel like Because you put paper on the ground. I don't know if they're all necessarily cataclysmic, but they are all very exciting. Whoa, do you see it happening? Whoa. Yes. Look, Amy, yes. hold it like, uh, look, look at the back, <clears throat> back, you hold it. Amy, pick up my piece of paper. It's a moon. Okay. No, it's not a moon. It's the eclipse. It's happening. There you go. So this is the <clears throat> the eclipse. You can see it happening right there. Your hole? Oh yeah, you can see it. Yeah, you can see it right there. Look at it. Look at this. Put your paper on the ground. Look at mommy. Oh wow, look at mom's. <laughs> well, the farther back you farther back you are. Looks like moons. Mm-hmm. It is a moon. Do you see your moon? Yeah. Right there? Yeah, my like my flat holes are turning into moons. Is the iPad on? Yes. Recording on? It's yes. recording back. It's a time lapse, but I'll stay in front of it. You'll know we can that. totally see the moon. It's not the moon, it's the sun. Now is it the moon going over the sun or is it? Yeah. Mom, I can see it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Yeah, don't look. Even you're right in the front of my The lunar eclipse is uh, the sun going over the moon. Right? Oh, yeah. The moon. No, it's the lunar eclipse is the Earth going between the sun and the moon, huh. and so the moon you can't see the moon because the Earth is in the it's creating a shadow from the sun. <clears throat> We're gonna get like I think somewhere like around eighty percent. That's weird. See, I can make a pinhole of light with my like hand. Our sh uh, the shadow of my, my hand looks weird. And yeah. you can see the That's reflection like down there. A bunch of holes. The colander. Yeah, Corbin, it's over no. there. Oh, the stars? No, there's an aluminum no. one over there that has a bunch of holes. Yeah, that's my star one. Yeah, can I look at it? Look. Yeah, that's my star one. She's like, why are you putting paper all over the ground? 
I don't <clears throat> get it. This is dirty. What are you doing? <clears throat> you see lots of them? Yeah, where's the colander one? That's really cool. Uh, Ooh, look at pee. <laughs> it's a lot of Maybe you grab a pencil real quick? You see it? Like it's a paper. There's one. You see your eclipse there? Well, yeah. But we weren't there. Once every seven years or something like that, or once? No, this is the first time in a hundred years across the coast to coast of the United States. Like it'll touch the U.S. The last time it's touched the U.S. is in '79, which is the year I was born. But it hasn't happened in the U.S. since. Uh, since the year I was born. So it probably was before I was born. So this is the first time in my life that it's ever happened. Does it, you feel like it's getting darker? It's definitely getting a little bit darker. It's also a little colder. Yeah, and it is getting colder too. Look at my finger. I totally feel it getting colder. It's definitely getting darker and colder. We've got... Maybe five minutes. We've got five minutes, five minutes to go. Chili, chili. I see it on you. I see it on you. I see it on you. He's the bunny. Eclipse is on your shirt. Eclipse is on your shirt. Yeah, I see you. It's not like sunset dark. Right. It's like apocalypse. <laughs> apocalypse. Dark. Yeah, we've only got like a couple minutes will be the 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 peak for us, like a minute-ish. How much longer? <clears throat> yeah, it's fully black. It's well, we're not going to get 100% here. 100% south, lower than us in Oregon. <clears throat> but we should get like 90%, so it's pretty... How much darker can we get? This is... <clears throat> I mean, the McAllister's right, they're going to have like 100%. She said they're like 99.3 or well, what something. Well, what about the Van What do they have right now? Well, a little bit more than us, but they're, they're, not, they're, not still, they're not there still. Oh, so they're gonna, have like they're gonna have like 90. Even Mr. Forrester said it's further south than where he lives, and he lives in Oregon. Yeah. Like, okay, it's very, it's very close to like the peak. I'm getting cold. I'm gonna go get a jacket. It's like getting really chilly. <gasps> See, isn't it wild? Like even your shadows are all like half moony. Yeah, yeah they're like, like edgy. They're like creepy. That's super creepy looking. Mom. Isn't it? This is what I remember seeing last time when I was a little kid. Mom. Just just like this, like the shadows and stuff were very crescent moony. Wait, you were in you were in one? Look at that. I was about twelve. I was about twelve or so when it happened. We made shoebox. I was twelve when the last one happened, I think. Right about twelve or thirteen. I remember. The whole school went outside and looked through our shoeboxes. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go get a jacket right now. Yeah, this is about it, guys. Now it's just going to slowly go away. Yeah. It's cold. I know, isn't it? It's creepy. <laughs> Yeah, like in Narnia. Yeah. Like in Narnia. Yeah, they don't happen yeah. that often. She, she gets it. Like imagine, like they make you feel like the sun is older, you know? Older. Like in Charm. So it's like it's no, it's no, lo no longer shines as bright. Yeah. Mommy! And then like Yeah. Matilda! Yeah, stop whatever you're doing, Matilda. It's like chili. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's getting back. Well, it's very cool. Yeah, the light's coming back now. Woo, thank you. A little bit warmer again. I wear my It's kind of cool. Hey, it's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Oh my, that's Why does it only last for like a few? That's weird. Yeah, because the moon keeps moving. Yeah, but you gotta hold it up on a paper. The moon keeps moving and then... It moves like in a circle very slowly around, all around the world. Where is that? <laughs> yeah, the, the sun is moving, the sun is moving, and then the moon is moving too. So when they go together, mm -hmm. they... And then they, and then they slowly go apart. 
So they came yeah, close together. Yeah, it's upside down now. That's it's like weird. They're meeting each other because they haven't seen each other for like a thousand years. <laughs> but, well, just that the shadow is not on us very often. Can, can someone explain to me what happened? I don't know. Yes, you do. Get out there. Uh, so... This, whatever we packed with the boxes, and then this, all of them stacked of fire. This had stuff in it, and was set, I guess, on top of the boxes, and driving it tipped over and spilled, and then it kind of just got some of the boxes wet, and I think it only damaged one book. So. So we had all the boxes packed in the back of the van. Yes. And then this still had liquid in it. That jug? Yeah, they have liquid, yeah. And you put it on top of the boxes. Well, I didn't put it on top of the boxes. But it got put on top of Mom, the Mom, who put it on top of the boxes? Okay, so somebody put the jug on top of the boxes and then it leaked. Like so. On the boxes. And that liquid went on the books. But the books are okay because they were in plastic containers. Okay, so some of the books are shrink wrapped, some of the books are not shrink wrapped. The book. And it seems as though. The books are fine. Providentially, somehow, the water only got on boxes that had shrink wrapped books. Right? Yes. Correct. This one's the case thing got wet, but I don't Yeah, know. so I don't know about this one, this Leviticus one. The book didn't get wet, though. That's the case. Is this the Bible or explaining the Bible? Commentaries, called commentaries on uh, on those chat on those books. Where uh, the commentator will explain aspects of what the passages mean. So we need to make an assessment, Corbin? Yes. Of the damage. Two books. One book and a case. Cover. So we need to make a final assessment of the damage and then we have to pay for those yep. books. Okay, cataclysmic event number two. Now number three. Number three. All chickens have the disease already in their body. It's just when it's in these certain circumstances it comes out. You know, particularly weak and young birds, it can be fatal, as it was in this case. Okay, so we have diseased chickens. Chickens. <laughs> we don't fund your diseased chickens. Can you show me the, so, s the story of diseased chickens? <clears throat> we have ducks over there. And ducks, they constantly make everything wet wherever they are. So, I did not have, like, you're, not, you're supposed to keep ducks in. Well, what about the light? Doesn't the light help? The light warms up that area where they stay. But out here, as you can see, you think the ducks are playing in the water? Yes. And the chickens yes. are staying wet? Are getting, they're having to walk around in this wet. But only this little portion is wet. It's not like the whole area. No, but this is where they get their water and they're constantly walking around here and the ducks. So if you had, if they, they had fresh water, then would it be okay? Or what if you move, what if you moved the water to different locations? So I would get them some new water and move it. And then you think that you just need to give them the medicine. Yeah, medicine is what's gonna kill the parasites that are in there. Corby got a boo-boo! What'd you do? Hey, come back. Uh, what? I woke up myself on a box cutter. What'd you do that for? Uh, I thought it'd be fun. It's not that bad, but it's just bleeding a lot. Okay, go. Let's see. It's blood, no, blood. Can I see? Blood? Yeah. Is that really blood? Yeah, it's really blood. What did you do? Cut myself. How bad? Can you stop squeezing it to make it bleed more? Oh, I see meat. Oh wow, you can totally see my hands. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, you can see my meat. Oh, that was cool. See my meat, mom. Sweet. That's You're a meaty cool. guy. So we're going to wash it out with Hibiquen 
and then we'll soak it in water with some apple cider vinegar and some lava salt to kill any germs. Can't really see. Oh, you don't need to do that. That doesn't help. You can't see. It's too dark in here. There. I see him. Nice. Hello. Exciting day here. Life never stops here in our family home. It's just part of life. So, and that's just part of reconstruction life. Fighting the curse in ourselves and everywhere else right now mostly in ourselves so anyway thanks for watching our video i hope you guys got a chance to see the solar eclipse wherever you are and uh that was fun it was exciting so thanks for being a part of this little crazy event in our day thanks bye